politics at the age of 29. He quickly made a name for himself as the vice chairman of the Ontario Hydro Commission and in 1962 was named Minister of Education by then Premier John Robarts. During his years in the education portfolio, Davis introduced community colleges and centralized school boards. At the same time, standards dropped and discipline declined. Today, the government is trying to reverse the excesses of the 1960s. When Robarts retired in 1971, Davis went for the leadership and won it narrowly. During the Davis years, construction of the Spadina Expressway was halted. The drinking age dropped to 18 from 21, then raised to 19 in 1978. Beer was sold at sporting events in Toronto, Ottawa, and Hamilton. Rent controls were imposed in 1975, and wage restraints were slapped on provincial public servants in 1978. During his tenure as Premier, Davis has kept controversy at bay. With the exception of paying $650 million for a quarter stake in Suncor Oil and the unprecedented takeover last January of three trust companies which had provided third mortgages in an infamous flip of almost 11,000 Toronto apartment units. Recently, Davis gained national exposure when he supported former Prime Minister Trudeau during constitutional talks, only one of two premiers to initially do so. But he never felt he had gained enough support to run for the federal Tory leadership last year, even though Trudeau called him potentially the best candidate. One of his last major acts as premier was to announce this June that separate schools would receive provincial funding for grades 9 and 10, eventually through 13. In 1971, the province's Catholic schools were told they would be fully financed until grade 8 and only partially funded for grades 9 and 10. In typical Davis fashion, the recent decision was made, he said, on what his conscience dictates today. If there is a Davis philosophy, it is a shrewd political mixture of left and right, an ability to read the pulse of the electorate and act upon it. His successor will have a tough act to follow.